getting their guys in space from what you've noticed? Yeah, they uh, run a lot of three level routes or two level routes and wheels and they look uh, the quarterback looks people off so that's another part of the offense that he does. And, and how typically, you know, they like the flood areas and things like that or, you know, line up three guys on the same side and, and, and challenge you guys. How difficult, what, what is the, what's the, the keys there, I guess, for a defensive back when you have three guys to your side and et cetera, what, what are you looking for there? I mean, it just depends on the call. Yeah, I know it depends on the call, but I mean, y'all are y'all like to play a lot of man. You do, yeah. and stuff. I mean, do you do you have to? I don't know. What, what what's the, is it still the call that you have to go with? Yeah, I mean, if we're playing man, it doesn't matter what the three level route. Yeah, I'm on yeah. My man the whole time. Yeah, but okay, y'all y'all do mix man and zone. I mean, underneath. Yeah, like we that. have man and zone. That's why I said it depends on the call. Yeah, yeah. You personally, uh, how how far has Marshawn come in our in our opinion a short period of time? I mean, what is he? brought to the table here in the first four games? Uh, a lot. He's playing real well. And I knew he was always a good player. But he was battling injuries. And now he's healthy and he's showing it that he's good. Gary, on those injuries would be pretty frustrating injuries. Um, hamstrings and the same thing. How did you see him during his uh, whole rehab? The, it's been it was more than a year. Yeah. How did how do you think he handled? Oh, he handled it real well. I mean, it's real hard not to play. And he hasn't played in what? Two years. I mean, he really hasn't played since high school, really. I mean, he played a little bit last year, but he was on and off. So being healthy this year, I know he's like real happy about that, and he handled the rehab real well. Speaking of injuries, are you back to 100 percent? Yeah, I am. Just you, feeling all right then? Yeah. Couple more. You guys lead the country in different, various like defensive categories. Do you feel how, as a unit, you guys are where you're supposed to be right now in the season? Uh, we're not where we want to be yet, but. Uh, we are making progress, and I'm happy with where we're at, but I want to go further. We're always hungry for more. Gary, tells on, me this uh, team won't get the big hit. This defense won't get the big hit. I mean, y'all are <laughs> one, basically the top defense in the country in a lot of categories. What what keeps y'all from getting a big hit right now? Uh, we're always hungry, and we know that we can be better every day. We always find more stuff that we can do with what we did wrong, no matter how good we play. We always find more. Gary, on uh, last weekend, uh, Coach Ciano said, after you guys failed to force a turnover, that you guys didn't meet your expectations. So, in facing one of the best passing offenses in the Big Ten this weekend, how do you guys plan on exceeding those expectations? I just come out, be fundamentally sound, do what we do, and just play hard every play. And just make sure we play for each other and everything I handle itself. You guys got any bets on who's going to get the first pick in the nah. locker room? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. Thanks, Gary.